a little faith. Just a little faith. <laughs> Hello, vlog people. Well, I'm back in Los Angeles, as you can see from my photograph of me when I'm three, knowing I was in show business. Um, Cooper was so amazing on the flight. I have to tell you, Cooper was so, he's so, he's such a great baby. He goes with the flow. He only cries when absolutely necessary. It's when he needs or wants something, and then I have to listen to whatever it is. I can tell the difference in the cries now, which is really good. And he was great in New York. We went to the park, and we went to, Danny took him all the way downtown in a stroller when it was 103. I wouldn't necessarily approved of that if I'd known, but I was at rehearsal. And uh, we went to Central Park a lot, and to Riverside Park. And then on Sunday, after I was finished with my shows, Danny and Cooper and I went to Rosie O'Donnell's and Kelly's up at, at, in Nyack and went swimming and hung out with the kids and had a full great day, which I loved. And oh, my dog has such gas. Emma, good Christ. Oy. Anyway, I know a lot of you have been asking about the view. I wish I could tell you. Um, I do know that... that uh, they said fall. They stopped production like the week that all this was going on. It was the, their last week before they went on hiatus. There's a lot of different stories about what exactly happened. I'm not sure yet. When I do find out, I promise to tell you the truth. How's that? Um, because there's several theories, and they're being bandied about. Yeah, it really pissed me off because I went to New York a week in advance. I had other press, too, but a week in advance with a child and a nanny. And that really pissed me off that I went for that. Also, we planned the, the release of the record around this date because I have a great relationship with uh, the, the ladies on a couple of the ladies on the View, and you know, and I wanted to launch it that way. So I was tremendously disappointed. I'm not. Uh, we're finding out what happened. It was a few things, but you know what? It does happen all the time. I have to tell you, much bigger stars than Sam Harris have been bumped from talk shows. Um, so I don't know exactly what happened. But it's the first time it's ever happened to me. In all my years in the show business, I have to tell you... Oh, it's... Got to take this. I'll be right back. And we're back. It's hours later. Hours later. Uh, in the interim, I think I walked the dogs. I fed the dogs. I fed Cooper. Gave him a bath. Fed him again. Emin then guards the door to Cooper's room while I'm feeding him. I to make sure no intruders come in and knife us, I'm presuming. It's very sweet, actually. And now he's down. Cooper is now trying to adjust back to L.A. time. It's a little rough. He got up at 4.30 this morning for the day. Okay, I want one night of sleep. I'm having a massage tonight in an hour and 20 minutes, and I'm telling you right now, if that kid wakes me up during that massage, I don't know what else. I literally was just seeing Tim. What was I seeing? Go to sleep, my little baby. Go to sleep, my little one. Go to sleep, my little darling, because daddy's got a gun. <laughs> I literally sang that lyric to my little baby. Okay, it's stressful. Um, I don't mean it. You know I don't mean it. What was I going to tell you? Oh, yeah, August 11th, this coming Monday, I'm doing what I did in New York here, where I'm just doing the songs acoustically. Um, very raw, very simple. It's really great fun. It's really, it's really good. So if you're around the area, come and see us. The information's on samharris.com or samharrismyspace or samharris.something or other. Look up Sam Harris. It'll be there. Not the atheist, the, the singer, the actor, the star. Oh, God, what else do I have to tell you? I don't know. I'm going to have a massage soon. I'm going to have a chicken tamale before that. The simple pleasures, my, my friends. And that's, you know what, that was the great thing about going to Rose this weekend because... It was such a family environment, such a family house, and such, you know, uh, the kids each had their own stuff going on. We had a great, great talk. I'll tell you what, as time goes by, the older Rosie and I get, we've known each other for 25 years, or something like that, 25 or 26 years, um, the more alike I find we are. <laughs> I think that's a good thing. Anyway, um, all right, that's all. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. I just want to explain about the view. I know a lot of you have been asking. So be well, God bless, do something wonderful for somebody, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye. I love you more than thunder loves lightning, more than April loves the rain, more than Sunday morning choirs love a heavenly refrain.